Welcome to Manifested Publishers. Welcome learners. My name is Stephen Kariungi and uh, we continue with our topic of discussion and the topic is uh, reproduction in plants and animals. So during our last lesson we discussed uh, the role of hormones in development of secondary sexual characteristics in males and uh, today we shall discuss the role of hormones in development of secondary sexual characteristics in females. So development of secondary uh, sexual characteristics in Yes, development of secondary sexual characteristics in females. So we say that when females reach puberty, which can come as early as 10 years, sometimes it has come earlier, even at 9 years, uh, we are saying that um, uh, it is usually detected by the brain, a particular part that is known as the hypothalamus, that instructs the pituitary gland to release the follicle-stimulating hormone. Another hormone that is also released is luteinizing hormone. So we can basically say that uh, the hypothalamus detects and then it triggers the pituitary gland to release the gonadotrophic hormones. That is follicle-stimulating hormone and luteinizing hormone. So those are the two gonadotrophic hormones. Hormones that stimulate the gonads. The gonads are the organs that produce the gametes. So you're saying that at puberty, the hypothalamus, which is a part of the brain, triggers the pituitary gland. triggers the pituitary gland to triggers the pituitary gland to secret or to produce gonadotrophic hormones that is the follicle stimulating hormone FSH and luteinizing hormone LH and uh, what happens after the two hormones have been released uh, we can say that uh, FSH stimulates the development stimulates the development of graphian follicle a graphian follicle from a primary follicle So primary follicle is a, is a is a is a is a cell within the ovary, uh, the cells that usually surround the ovum. So those are the ones that develop. So they develop from a primary follicle cell into something bigger that is called a graphian follicle. So that's why this hormone is called follicle stimulating hormone because it stimulates the development of graphian follicle, a bigger follicle cell from a primary follicle or from a, a primary or a smaller uh, follicle cell. 
<clears throat> so that is one of the roles played by the follicle stimulating hormone fsh also another role stimulates the ovaries stimulates the ovaries to release a hormone called estrogen a hormone called estrogen so follicle stimulating hormone stimulates the ovaries to release another hormone instructs the ovaries to release another hormone that we are calling estrogen now this estrogen is now the one that is responsible for development of secondary sexual characteristics in females so estrogen then stimulate development of secondary sexual characteristics in females which includes which include the enlargement in fact it starts with the it starts with the development and enlargement and enlargement of mammary glands development and enlargement of mammary glands then ovaries start producing mature eggs or mature ova hips broaden and the body becomes feminine hips broaden and the body becomes feminine then hair develops in the armpits and pubic region etc so all those are uh, characteristics that are triggered by estrogen the development and enlargement of mammary glands uh, in preparation for lactation ovaries start producing mature eggs or ova hips broaden and the body becomes feminine hair develops in the armpits and pubic region and also menstruation starts menstruation starts so all those are characteristics that are associated with females as a result of the hormone estrogen that is stimulating the development of secondary sexual characteristics another role estrogen also triggers the pituitary gland to release uh, to release a luteinizing hormone to release a luteinizing hormone which causes ovulation so luteinizing hormone is the one that uh, causes ovulation the release of mature ova or the release of mature 
uh, ovum. So that is a combination of uh, how the secondary sexual characteristics develop in females. It starts by the female reaching the puberty. The hypothalamus detects that. It's in the brain. It triggers or sends an instruction to the pituitary gland to secrete gonadotrophic hormones, hormones that stimulate the gonads. And these hormones include uh, the follicle-stimulating hormone and luteinizing hormone. The follicle-stimulating hormone stimulates the development of the graphene follicle from primary follicles. Uh, it also uh, stimulates the ovaries to release estrogen. Then estrogen causes development of secondary sexual characteristics. And also, estrogen triggers the release of luteinizing hormone, which causes ovulation. So th those are how uh, the secondary sexual characteristics in females are initiated. But we'll continue with this when we get into more details about uh, uh, how menstruation occurs. And basically, we shall be discussing uh, the menstrual cycle in more details. But first of all, we can have a short assignment on this. So the first uh, question in the assignment Name the hormone that stimulates development of secondary sexual characteristics in females. B, stimulates ovulation. So which hormone is responsible for each? And question number two, name the site for production of FSH and LH. That is follicle stimulating hormone and luteinizing hormone. So we'll stop there until next time. Goodbye.